If you're sending cold emails, then you know the pain of having to buy domains, set up DNS records, and create mailboxes. It's an annoying, repetitive, and fairly technical process that you always need to do prior to sending out cold emails, and you need to keep doing it every time you decide to scale your campaigns. I have good news for you though. There is finally a tool that can automate the entire process, and in this video, I will show you exactly how it works. All right, so the tool is called MailForge and you can sign up for an account by clicking on the link in the description below. So here we are in the dashboard and as you can see, we have three options. Add domains, add mailbox slots and activate mailboxes. Now, for those of you who are new to cold emailing, the process of setting up your cold email mailboxes goes as follows. You first need to have some domains that you're going to use specifically for cold emailing. You want to make sure you do this because you don't want to be using your primary business email for cold emailing purposes. That can put your deliverability at risk. Now, MailForge makes this step very easy. We can click here to purchase new domains. Now, here we can either enter the list of domains that we want to purchase and check their availability, or we can let the tool generate some available domains for us. So I'm going to go with this option. I'm going to say that I want to generate uh, three domains and I'll set the primary domain as example growthcompany.com. Generate domains. And there we have it, three available domains that have my primary business domain uh, and then like an additional keyword at the beginning. We'll click next to proceed. And here we need to enter the domain which we want to forward people to when they visit one of the domains we use for cold emailing. This is important because if someone visits the domain you're cold emailing them from, you don't want them to get an error. You want them to be redirected to your website so they know that you're a legit business. So here you need to enter the domain uh, of your business website or maybe the domain that points to a landing page you have set up so they automatically get redirected there example growthcompany.com. Then if you want, you can also enter an email where you receive uh, DMARC reports. Uh, this can be your personal email. I'm not going to do that, so I'll click continue. Here we'll enter some uh, contact information and then we'll click continue. And now we're ready to check out. So MailForge will actually handle uh, the entire checkout process. So you will be purchasing the domains from them. So you don't need to do any like DNS redirects or anything like that. Um, it will all happen automatically. Proceed to checkout and then I'll go ahead and check out and then come back once uh, I complete the purchase. All right, so I have successfully purchased the domains. As you can see, I now have three active domains which I can use. By the way, a quick note, uh, if you have already purchased domains from another domain registrar, you can transfer them into MailForge by clicking on this button here and following the uh, instructions. But now that we have the domains, let's go ahead and link them to some mailboxes. The mailboxes are what will allow us to actually send out the emails. So to create uh, mailboxes, we need to first purchase some mailbox slots. So we'll click here. Now for every domain you have, uh, it is recommended that you have up to three mailboxes. So if you have three domains, uh, you can create a total of nine mailboxes. Now the minimum we can purchase here is 10, so we'll leave this selection as it is and then click subscribe for uh, $30 per month. The price per mailbox is actually lower than uh, providers such as Google, so that's always nice. Perfect, so we now have the mailbox slots, uh, so we can proceed to the final step, which is to create the actual mailboxes and link them to the domains. So we will go to the mailboxes tab here and we will click on uh, create mailboxes. Now here we have two options. We can either manually create each mailbox one by one by filling out this uh, form here, or we can use the auto generator. I'm actually gonna use the auto generator to speed up the process. So here we get to choose uh, which domains we want to create mailboxes for. I'm gonna choose all of them. And then we also need to specify how many mailboxes we wanna create uh, per domain. And I know it says maximum five here, but actually I would recommend that you uh, don't go above three to ensure that you're uh, not risking hurting your deliverability. I'm gonna click next. 
and then here we need to um, we need to specify how we want the generator to create the mailbox names. Now, what is a mailbox name? Let me actually show you here. So let's say we have um, something like Nick at examplegrowthcompany.com. Nick is the mailbox name. So this could be your personal name. It could be uh, the name of a member of your team. It could be something generic such as growth, for example. This is the name of the mailbox. And here, the uh, the generator gives us a few options on how we want the, um, the, the name to be generated. So it could either be like a random male or female name. Uh, it could be a random female name, a random male name, or it could be a random choice from a predefined set of names. And I think this is actually the one that makes the most sense, especially if you want um, if you want the mailbox names to be your name or you know a member of your team. So here you would go ahead and enter like three names. Let's say John Doe uh, as one, then Bob Test as another, and then I don't know James Test as a third one. Uh, and yeah, that's how you specify the names. Now in the third step here, we will enter the signature. So this can be, you know, anything you like. Um, by default, it has two placeholders. So it will add the first name and then the last name uh, right there. And I'm going to click generate mailboxes. There we go. So we have one. Okay, so we have... For getExampleGrowthCompany.com, we have one, two, three mailboxes. Then we have uh, another three for TryExampleGrowthCompany.com. And then we have another three for UseExampleGrowthCompany.com. So I'm going to click Create Nine Mailboxes. All right, so the mailboxes have been successfully created. We can click on any of these to edit the first name, last name, and signature. And now, in order to link these emails to a cold emailing platform, we need to export all their information by clicking on the Export Mailboxes button here. This asks us whether we want to export the information so we can upload it to Salesforce, which is the cold emailing platform product of the same company that created Mailforge, or if we want to export it so we can use it with any other cold emailing platform. Let's click uh, other for this example. And now I'm given two options. I can either export it for smart leads or I can export it for instantly. These are two cold emailing platforms. And actually it doesn't matter which one you choose. Like even if you wanna use it with a different platform, uh, you can. So just, just click on any of these. And what you will get is a CSV file that you can open in any spreadsheet software, or if you don't have a spreadsheet software, you can import it in a Google Sheet. And it's gonna look like this. So you actually get access to all the server information for uh, for the mailboxes. So you can technically connect this to anything, right? You can even like manually log in to the, uh, to the mailbox and send emails, reply to emails, do whatever you want. Um, so we have the email, the first name, the last name, the IMAP server information, and then the SMTP server information. Uh, it also seems that there is actually a daily uh, warm up that is going on, which is nice to see. So the, the emails are actually being warmed up automatically by Mailforge. But yeah, the idea is that you can go ahead and use this information to connect these mailboxes to any uh, cold emailing platform that you work with. And then another thing you can do here is actually uh, access the inbox of any of these mailboxes by clicking on this button here. This will redirect you to a web email client where you need to enter the email address. So let's say I wanna log into this one here. I'm gonna copy it, paste it there. And then I'm gonna go to my IMAP password. I'm gonna copy that and paste it there. Click login. And this will log me into the inbox. So from here, I can see all the emails that were sent. I can see um, the emails that were received and so on. So that was an overview of Mailforge, a platform that can save you a ton of time when setting up your cold email infrastructure. Like seriously, if you, if you ever had to do these steps manually in the past, you know exactly how painful and time consuming it can be. So definitely a tool I recommend checking out. I'll put a link for it in the description below. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos you would like to see, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you. Subscribe 
subscribe to the channel if you want to discover more tools like this one that can increase your sales productivity. And with that said, I'll see you on the next one.